All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more of My Hero Ultra Rumble, and today we're going to be going over the release window of the game, as well as the stats from the previous open beta test that happened about a month ago. So if you guys are looking forward to the release of My Hero Ultra Rumble, make sure to drop a like on the video. I'll greatly appreciate it, and let's hop straight into it. So right here, they mentioned our blog is now open. Here, we'll keep players up to date on the latest news and developments. First, we would like to address one of the most frequently asked questions since the OBT, the open beta test. When is the release date? I would like to announce the release date as soon as possible. Then down here they mentioned, We are working diligently on development adjustments, implementation, and bug fixes based on the OBT survey responses. This is why it's always important to take the surveys after each beta test, just because they have a lot more information to work with to add balanced patches and just to make the game a lot more fun, right? As development progresses, we can give a more definite schedule. However, we can announce our development team is working to release My Hero Ultra Rumble this fall of 2023. So late September, October and or November, right? That time period. So we could potentially start playing the game. It's free, by the way, in three or four months. I'm looking forward to it. So that's the release window. Now let's go over all the brand new implementation and modifications that they mentioned up above. So this is the first thing that they're adding. A brand new training mode. A new mode has been added that allows you to freely set your character's level and items and practice. We hope you will learn the move quirk of each character here. I'm very glad that they're adding this. This is going to be extremely useful just because in the open and closed beta test, uh, if you wanted to play as a brand new character that you never played as before, uh, you had to basically just hop straight into an online battle. And <laughs> you're not going to be helping out your teammates all too well just because, again, it's your first time playing as a character. So you're going to be figuring out how to play as them, testing out all their new and different abilities, stuff like that, right? But with the training mode, uh, we get to practice as any of the characters and then, you know, just warm up before you hop into an online battle. And plus, right here, I think it said you can level up freely level up the character's abilities and items which means we also get to test out the level one quirks up to the level nine quirks because each power up or level up is well it's not really too different because sometimes you just get a bit more ammunition and of course it increases the strength of the specific quirk uh but some characters do have different abilities when you level up uh you know the specific quirk Stuff like that. Yeah, we can test all that out in the new training mode. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. The next thing that they're adding is AI improvements. We are making improvements to the AI algorithm and attack frequency so that attacks are launched from a reasonable distance. All right, interesting. We will continue to enhance the challenge of battles even when the CPU joins. Mm. All right, so I do know in the open beta, well, actually in all the betas, there was an offline mode. Basically, you versus a bunch of computers right and if they improve the actual difficulty setting then that would be great because i remember that <laughs> they didn't do much you literally run up to an opponent and they would just stand there so i think they're going to be increasing the computers and that you know aspect of the game of course they're going to be improving the matchmaking we are working on improving matchmaking settings so players can play with more ease this is good to see to be fair, when I was playing, uh, it wasn't too difficult for me to find a match, but if they're going to be improving it and making that 10 times better, then, you know, I'm there for it. <laughs> I'm going to be finding matches with ease, as they just said right here. <laughs> Character rebalancing. This is extremely important. The range of win rates between characters narrowed in the open beta test. However, we will continue to adjust the balance, the strength, and weaknesses of each character. Great. Balance adjustments will be posted in the dev blog when they've been implemented, alright? So, stay tuned for that. The open beta test results will be available next week, but we have them right now. Alright, so... Number of downloads, 585,619. That is absolutely insane. Plus, this was only available on PlayStation consoles, so PS4 and PS5s. Imagine if they open up another beta test but on all platforms pc switch xbox and playstation average certification 4.34 out of 5 so a 91 percent 
positive response. That's awesome to see. Dissatisfied, somewhat dissatisfied, 2%. Can't say either way, 7%. And satisfied, somewhat satisfied, 91%. All right. Yeah, they're definitely doing something right <laughs> if it's a positive uh, response, right? Play data. Various play data from OBT will be presented. So here we have the top three characters. Number one, of course, Izuku Midoriya. Number two and number three definitely makes sense. So we have Shigaraki and Dabi. To be honest, I'm actually quite surprised that Izuku Midoriya is number one. I mean, he is the main character. But Shigaraki and Dabi, yeah, when you load up into an online match, a Shigaraki is pretty much on everybody's team. <laughs> so I believe there's a total of eight teams. So there's basically eight Shigarakis on a battlefield. Dabi as well. Uh, I kind of expected All Might or Mount Lady to be, you know, third. It is what it is, I guess. Um, top three costumes. We have Dabi's formal suit. 36,000 people use this outfit. We have Toga's disguised costume. And lastly, Shigaraki's disguised costume. The long coats. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Characters with highest win percentage worldwide. Yeah, this is worldwide, by the way, if I didn't mention that from before. Uh, the highest win percentage? Yeah, so Mount Lady, that definitely makes sense. <laughs> As I said, I, I, I kind of thought that Mount Lady or All Might should have been like top three alongside Shigaraki and Dabi. But Midoriya up there is awesome as well because I do play as Midoriya and Bakugo. Number two is Izuku Midoriya with a 27% and Su with a 26%. Pretty cool. Most used quirks worldwide. Huh. Alright, yeah, that makes sense to me how Dabi and Midoriya are top three because if they're, uh, you know, part of the top three characters played, and, you know, it also makes sense for them to be here. But Todoroki is actually second place. So <laughs> his quirk has been used 26 million times. No way. And number one, of course, Dabi with his arson quirk 31 million times. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, Todoroki is probably, you know, fourth place, right? If his, if his quirk was used more times than Midoriya's, and Midoriya was first place, then that means, yeah, Todoroki has to be fourth place. At least that's how I look at it. Here we have the rank distributions. Uh, so all the different rankings. And of course, the higher the rank, the lower the percentage. So we got rank one, 28%. Rank two, 17%. Rank three, 12%. Then we have the amateur ranks. <laughs> wow. Yo, yo, who... Who's the 0.1 percentage in professional rank 5 and ace rank? That is crazy. Wait, let me pull up the calculator real quick. So I believe it was a total of 585,000 players. We're just going to round it. Uh, and I think we times it by... Let's do professional rank 4. 0.3%. This is going to be interesting. So 1,755 players reached professional rank 4. <laughs> that is insane. As for professional rank 5 and ace rank, once again, 585,000 times 0.1%. I think I'm doing this right. <laughs> 585 players. No way. I don't even know what rank I reached. But let's just say amateur rank 4. Just for the one time, why not? Uh, clear that five eight five zero 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 times what is it amateur rank four four point eight percent all right twenty eight thousand players reached that rank and that's it for the stats regarding the open beta test and once again the release window is this fall of 2023 of course if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace